Hey guys, it's Kidomaki here. Today we're gonna talk about a theory on the creation of one for all. This links back to the theory about Deku being all for one or Deku having the powers of all for one. As the title of the video suggests, we're gonna talk about the possibility of one for all being made up of three primary quirks, not just two. At the moment, what we know is that one for all is made up of two quirks. The transfer quirk quirk that resided in the first user and the stockpile quirk that was given to the first user by one for all. But what if I told you that there's a third quirk? A quirk duplicating quirk. This would explain why one for all is able to copy its user's quirk and pass it on to the next user. The stockpile quirk came from all for one and all for one has the ability to take quirks. So my theory is that either all for one gave his brother two quirks or the brother had two quirks to begin with. These are the ability to transfer quirks much like all for one and the ability to take quirks much like all for one. But in his case his quirk doesn't take the quirk from the user it comes into contact with. It duplicates it much like Rogue from X-Men and much like Rogue from X-Men it copies more than just their quirks. It copies the memories and the personalities of the holder of said quirk. The difference between Rogue and the first user is that Rogue didn't have the stockpile quirk. The stockpile quirk boosted this quirk copying quirk to the point where it is not only able to copy the quirk of its user but the essence of the user themselves. With the ever growing power of the stockpile quirk, the quirk copying quirk is able to mimic or recreate the life form of the user who holds it in its entirety or their entirety. Much like how all for one is capable of folding more than one quirk simultaneously, which we know is a rare case, the brother was also capable of folding more than one quirk at the same time. Which is proven correct by the manga itself in chapter 193.5 when Deku saw the memories of the first user. It was shown to us that one for all was created when all for one transferred the stockpile quirk to his younger brother and it was mixed with his quirk transferring quirk no one knew he had, not even him. This proves that the brother was capable of holding two quirks at the same time, so it is possible that he hardly had two quirks, albeit unusable, when off one gave him the stockpile quirk. I say unusable because the first user had no clue that he had these quirks, because these quirks are not quirks that will just activate in the spur of the moment, nor are they quirks that have a physical presence. These quirks require a certain process or a certain sequence of events to take place in order for them to activate. A prime example is the entire process of transferring one for all to another person. In order to do this, the recipient has to ingest some of the user's DNA and the user has to will them to have the power. Bear in mind that this is not a requirement of the stockpile quirk nor one for all in general. This is the requirement of the quirk transferring quirk which means that one for all can be taken by other means. This theory is further backed by chapter 246 in the manga where Dr. Ujigo tells Shigaraki that after he emerges from whatever transformation he's going to go through, everything will be within his reach, even one for all. This also shows us that the brother without the stockpile quirk was not so useless after all. This proves to us that with or without the stockpile quirk, one for all could have existed. It just would have been much weaker. Without the power from the stockpile quirk, the strength and power that we know today wouldn't be there. And the quirk copying quirk would no longer be able to copy entire life forms, only quirks. This also means that the transfer quirk would not have been able to transfer one for all in its entirety either. The transfer quirk quirk was only to be able to transfer quirks, then it grew to the point where it is able to transfer the essence of the users the quirk copying quirk copied, and this is because it was also boosted by the stockpile quirk. Based on what we know, all three quirks complement each other and they all play an important part in the creation and the sustenance of one for all. As Henry Ford once said, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is a process, working together is success. The insane growth of One For All is due to these three quirks coming together under one vision, and that's the vision of All Might and all the users that came before him. What happens to One For All going forward is yet to be seen, so I'll leave it at that. I have a video on my theory about the past users and why some of them are blurred out, so stay locked in by subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, go ahead and drop a like down below to show your support. Also let me know what you guys thought by commenting down below. Do you agree or do you have something else you'd like to add? Also share this video with your friends so that they can also share their thoughts. That's it from me. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.